and welcome back to the Ramadan vlog series. My name is Yasmin. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm so excited. If you don't know, I'm vlogging every day of Ramadan. I'm uploading as often as I can. Every like three-ish days is my goal. And it's Friday night. We're about to have iftar in like 30 minutes. I'm gonna go downstairs and like whip up a salad or something because I have a bunch of yummy ingredients. I went grocery shopping for the first time in so long yesterday. So I feel really inspired to like cook and we have like all the good stuff. So. I'm excited about that. I am going to be like vlogging the entire weekend and like what I get up to typical Ramadan days in my life. So tonight I'm gonna have iftar, like I said, we're gonna do leftovers, but I am gonna whip up that salad like I mentioned, um, but then I'm gonna go to Tarawi for the first time. I have not been this month, which is so crazy. It was just like kind of hectic between traveling, getting back, like my sleep was so off in the jet lag. And then I hopped right back into work stuff, which was really busy this week. Um, I'm wrapping it up for the last month that I have at my marketing job so yeah anyways it's just been busy and it's been hectic and i think like the first week of fasting is at least the hardest for me and i know some of you will relate to that because it's just like your body getting adjusted and stuff but i feel super good today was actually really easy for me i don't know if you can hear that but it's my dad cooking something downstairs so today was easy for me um, alhamdulillah, I think it's getting easier as the time goes on and I'm like figuring what works for me and what doesn't. So I'm excited to share like all of that. And I'm so excited to go to the mosque tonight. I have not been and I really am like craving that alone time. Pretty much go alone and then I'm gonna meet my mother-in-law there. And like when my sister-in-law comes into town, I'll see her there. And then my sister Nassim is actually coming into town tomorrow. She lives in the Bay Area. So her and her husband are gonna come down and I'm so excited because I feel like Ramadan with family and like siblings is just like so special. So we're gonna do um, burgers tomorrow I think that's the plan and then shawarma for iftar on Sunday. I love making shawarma so good. So yeah, that's all we're getting up to. I wanted to show you guys my look for tonight because I am obsessed with it. I feel like A, my makeup turned out really well. I think I just like don't know what was going on with my makeup the past few days. You know, it just like doesn't look good. I don't even know how to describe it. It just doesn't look good. Today, I really prioritized skincare and prepping my skin and like thinking about the products I was using and I feel like it looks really good and I tried out a new lip combo. I'll show you guys in a second. And then I put my hair in like a little updo. It feels cute and I'm wearing such a beautiful Abaya from Veiled Collection. They sent this to me right before I went to Turkey and I was a little bit like unsure of how I was gonna style this color because I never really wear anything in this shade. But once I put it on, it's so stunning. And it actually came with like this little overskirt thing, which I had no idea how to style at first. But my mom like showed me an Instagram video of like the girl tying it in. I think it looks really cute. It kind of adds like some shape to the abaya so you're not just looking like a blob. This is the look for today. Also, this is like the hallway that goes into my childhood bedroom. I used to have that room down the hall. My like bedroom bedroom is down the other side of the house. But it's so cute because my mom like kind of decorated every corner of the house when we we're all like living here with like baby pictures and stuff so the hallway leading to my house has this like big picture of me and that's me as a baby i don't even know if you can see because it's kind of dark but that's me i was very um i was a very round baby and i had huge eyes <laughs> so also you guys oh my goodness as i was doing my makeup i felt an earthquake here and for those of you who are new i live in san diego so like california obviously is like we know we get earthquakes that's like not anything new but i have personally never felt one and i know that that's such a blessing to have never felt one and this was my first one and it was actually like kind of strong like my mom and i like ran out and we were like did you feel that and she was like that was really strong so it was honestly really scary i was like doing my makeup getting ready and like i have these products on the um table right now and i just like I think I noticed it first because this closet door, like one of the little sliding things is broken. So it was like slamming against the little railing that it was in and I like heard that. And then I kind of felt like the windows like shaking. It kind of felt like really intense wind at first. And I was like, oh my God, is this an earthquake? And then it got more intense and all my products started shaking. The mirror I have right here was like going like this. Products were like, like it was so scary. God, I did not like it. Um, I haven't even checked the news to see like how intense it was. Maybe I'll do that right now. 4.5. But anyways, I wanted to quickly, I'm gonna show you guys the products I really liked from my makeup tonight. So this is the lip combo. I use this new um, lip liner from One Size. It's in the shade Pink Remix. I love One Size. I use their um, setting powder all the time. If you ever like wonder how to get the most flawless base, you need to do translucent like pressed powder and then a uh, blue setting powder. And I love those two because this one doesn't give you a flashback. 
which is amazing. Um, but they sent me a PR package a while ago and I love this shade. It's a little bit darker than what I normally go for, but I find that that's actually really flattering for my skin tone. I like I line the lips with this and then I kind of go in with like a lighter shade. And this is my favorite lip liner um, right now as well. It's from Dibs Beauty. I don't know the shade, but I think it's like the medium one. Like there's one that's a little bit lighter than this and pinkier. That one doesn't like work as well for my skin, but this one is so stunning. So these colors and then I used my Fenty gloss bomb this is or Fenty ice no Fenty gloss bomb ice in the shade cold hearted I lost my Dior lip oil I don't know where that thing went but that was like my go-to but honestly this lasts longer and it's clear so I love that I've really been loving the Patrick Ta blushes um the rare beauty happy is what I use today along with the pink gaza mix so many different blushes to find the perfect shade I don't know why and I also use this one from pearl it's like kind of a bubble gum so i started off with this one and then i did a little bit of rare beauty um the pink gas i'm like after i've like blended out concealer and all that stuff because i feel like it fades as you go and then i always do a little bit of extra brush after all the powder is done and like all of that just to like bring some life back into my face because i feel like sometimes powder can leave you kind of like dusty i don't know how to explain it but anyways i use this one so that's that and then to put my hair up i just felt like it was a little bit dry i mentioned in the last vlog that i used like too much of a hair product last time i was styling my hair and i hated how it made my hair look like i was having the worst hair day the past few days i was literally editing the vlog and i was like oh my god ew like why does it look like that so i was like you know what? we're gonna do a cute updo i'm about to wear a hijab anyways like i don't really need to do my hair down and i use the kerastros elixir hair oil and i love this stuff it actually keeps the moisture in your ends um i have a lot of other hair oils but i find that that was the best for like actually making your hair feel moisturized and not just like making your hair feel like heavy and like weighs it down but anyways we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna make a burrata salad i'm so excited i cannot wait earlier today i was like rearranging my room i got a lot of like the home decor in my last vlog and i showed you um but today i tried to like do a test run to just like see where everything was gonna go because i'm gonna film like the whole process tomorrow and then i like cleaned out like old drawers i went through my closet like there was just so much going on in my closet it was literally a disaster so i like went through everything and refolded all my like clothing that was just at the top and so everything feels a lot more tidy i like moved out a desk i did all of that so it feels good and i definitely needed that and it feels really good to like just have a clean space especially during this month and while i was doing my makeup i was listening to a moment more Suleiman's podcast the yakin institute i try and follow his um 30 for 30 series every year sometimes i'm like not that good at it aka this year it's like a lot of information and so sometimes it's like hard to retain all of it or like Sometimes I feel like I need to just like sit down with a notepad and not just be like listening to it while I do other things because it is a lot going on. So yeah, but I enjoy it and I find that like doing things like that, like listening to an Islamic podcast or like listening to Quran while I do like tasks that I'm already going to be doing like driving, cooking, cleaning, doing my makeup. It kind of helps me be more mindful this month and that's definitely something I'm working on. I guess also since I'm in a chatty mood, we can talk about some of my Ramadan goals and like what I'm specifically working on. Me, my main goal was to be um, more consistent with prayer, specifically like praying every prayer as it comes in and not like delaying it, like planning my day around my prayer and not my prayer around my day. So I just wanted to be more mindful of that. I wanted to be more mindful of like the content that I'm consuming, I'm listening to, what I'm watching. Um, what i'm saying and also just trying to like reconnect with my spirituality and that side of things and like really feel in the mood and the spirit and all that um if you're new here my husband mustafa is in law school and he went back on monday after our trip and it was honestly kind of hard saying goodbye because it's like we are technically married even though we haven't had our wedding yet we don't live together so it's like i feel like we've started our life together but also we're kind of in like a weird in between phase from like he is still like kind of feels like my fiance at times but he's not here to spend ramadan with he comes back home like a couple days before eid so we'll have like a couple days before eid and then eid in a few days after to like spend time together but it's just like i don't know it's just hard i want to be with like him i want to be with like my sisters my family and all that so just me and my parents sometimes it can feel a little lonely but we're trying to make the most out of it and that's why i'm like obviously making plans to, like see people Obviously, I'm making plans like go see my mother-in-law tonight. We're gonna go to uh, Tata Wave, like I said. End of chatting, let's go. I'm so excited. Oops, I always break these. I opened it literally the wrong way.
Why am I like swapping? <laughs> it wasn't working. This isn't going very well for me. Here is the burrata salad. It looks so good. I did arugula, um, the cherry tomatoes, burrata obviously. I did balsamic vinegar, olive oil, Himalayan pink salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice. And it was like literally the easiest thing. And I just know this is gonna be so tasty. I will always be an ice girl, like extra ice. I cannot do water without the ice. So thirsty today. More than ever, I was so thirsty. Really? Uh-huh. If you watched my last vlog, you saw that I made Mexican food. So for today's iftar, we turned it into a soup. I guess it's like a chicken tortilla soup slash chili, but looks delicious. And my dad made halua, which you've never had it before. I actually don't even know what it's made out of. I should ask, but it's not my favorite, but a lot of people do really like it. And what I'm most excited for is the broad salad.
Well, you guys, it is like 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, the day after the clips you just saw. So I did not really vlog today. I honestly, let me tell you a little story time so you know the caffeine pills I've been taking. Um, I forgot to take one this morning and I realized like 30 minutes after Fajr had came in and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Like I just knew I was not gonna have the same level of productivity and like I was gonna have to probably take a nap or something, which is exactly what happened. I took like a three hour nap. I was not that productive and I just was like literally sitting on my chair all day editing and getting the first Ramadan vlog up for you guys, getting TikToks up all that stuff like computer work and then my best friend facetimed me talked for like three hours i feel like let me know if any of you guys are like this with your best friends but i can't just like quickly chat with my friends i feel like we do like long catch-up calls and we just have so much fun and we had so much to talk about and i was telling her like all about the turkey trip and all that stuff so anyways i quickly got myself ready i did like my normal makeup and then i put on a dress i've been like loving getting ready for iftars and like making it special so i'm actually wearing this dress that i wore last year on Eid, if you have been around here for a long time you may recognize it it is from asos i got it last year i don't think it's still available but i will check um i was actually going back and forth because i couldn't tell if i wanted to wear this abaya instead this is from the brand fudger nude they actually sent it to me which is so sweet and they came with like a white dress underneath it but i think it's dirty i don't know where it is <laughs> um but it's this like beautiful mauve color it's so pretty and i love how it has the, like two-tone sleeves so i was like should i wear this because it's really pretty but i just can't find something to go under right now and i was like you know what still have a lot of ramadan to go like i can wear it another day with this dress tonight tonight we're doing burgers i am so excited i have literally been craving burgers all week and my sister nasim and her husband actually just got into town um, which i'm so excited about i definitely miss my sister and yeah it's gonna be so much fun so we're gonna do burgers tonight i'm gonna go downstairs and like see if i can help with anything and then also i want to make some kind of a salad i know my dad has like watermelon out that maybe we could do like a watermelon arugula feta moment because that is the best thing during ramadan and you put like mint and it's so good or yeah i don't know the broada salad i made yesterday was bomb too so we'll see i'm gonna go downstairs and see if i can help with anything get everything ready um and yeah that's pretty much it after i thought i'm gonna go to tarawi again yesterday i was literally so tired you guys like i need to get more caffeine on my way there and i think it'll be a little bit different today because i napped but yesterday i did not nap all day and had been up since sabood and so when i went to tarawi i was like literally falling asleep and my mother-in-law came with me it was really fun to see her really miss mustafa he would have had the best time with us but he is in law school doing what someone in law school does <laughs> um anyways so i'm gonna go again tonight and i'm hoping that i can be more awake and more present because i felt like yesterday i was literally just falling asleep and it's saturday night so i think some more of my in-laws might be going so i might see them but yeah that's pretty much it that's the updates for now i'm feeling really good really excited to eat today was very sleepy i cannot wait to have a cup of coffee or a matcha or something but yeah let's go downstairs and see what's going on my sister's down there just chat here is the dress up close that's my <laughs> light don't mind that on the ground but it's really cute and it has these like big bellow sleeves fun fact i actually wore this one of the times that mustafa's family came for what we call hasagari which is like when the family comes to ask for your hand it was like just a little dinner party and i think i wore this one night so this dress has like you know been around a few times i'm glad that i'm still wearing it the supplements i've been taking you can get them off of amazon so i will link them they are time release caffeine capsules and this is what i was saying i forgot this morning you guys look at the salad that's crazy we didn't try it i'm so up for the cake you want to eat the cake <laughs> but i'll make like it just cakes. for you Thank it's actually you. a really cute book because it's Let's like do it. snacking cakes like oh you can have it with your coffee you know like you know what's so funny thing. i was literally gonna make a cake earlier today yeah and then I was like, well, I'm not gonna make the whole cake. So I was gonna go to a store bought place and buy the cake and then buy the icing and make it look pretty. Cute. Oh, but then no, if you had it, you would judge me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You're like, ew. But no, I want it to be cute. You. You. I wanted it to be Yeah, cute. it'll look like that. Is that okay? Yeah, so we cute. can put like raspberries on it. Yeah, we have raspberry. Cute. I have raspberries. Too. I brought some. Oh, you brought a lunchbox? I brought all, all the what? ingredients. Oh, that's so cute. I'm yeah. crying. Do you think we have whole milk yogurt? We have. Sorry, we don't have yogurt. We only had Greek. We don't have any yogurt. We might have that lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a recipe stand. 
Do you? I don't have one. I didn't bring it. I do have What is it? Orange poppy seed cake. We're gonna make a cake. Also, Nassim is like a crazy baker. So anytime she's in this house, we have so many baked goods. Guys, we've come to Will I would go? Would you time? go? I would go, but there, if, apparently if you get them closer to the time. Is she still doing like tickets? Yeah, if you get it, if you get the tickets closer to the time of the concert. Do you remember when we went to cheaper. Maggie Rogers? Oh, this is this looks. Have you seen the videos? Of I the haven't concert? seen the videos. <gasps> it looks like like literally. I think Amin would have. Is a it good during time. Ramadan? No. Oh, okay. She'll be in LA in the summer, I think. Yeah, I'm down. It looks. So fun. I Masimo think she's coming to get Angle Wood. tickets, but he was like, sorry, I didn't really want to go to <laughs> Yeah. No, That's a different she, crowd. Because she does 44 songs. You do, you belong with yeah, me. She, she does all of that? She did. She does eras of her life. So she oh, is that like, why it's called eras? Yeah, so I it's like the first when she was like a little country singer, I'm and then she chanted to me. She does she that one too. I bookmarked all of them. <laughs> going down okay this spread is looking amazing we're doing burgers tonight so we have all the stuff for our burgers burgers are on the grill right now we have sweet potato fries regular fries lettuce this watermelon arugula mint salad my mom did like feta and oranges in there it's gonna be so good and then she also made this like mocktail refresher thing which also looks delicious it's like pineapple what was it? Pineapple, honey, orange, and what? Do you remember? No. I'll ask her, but it looks so good. And then we have this veggie quinoa soup. My family is going all out today. Mon, what was, what made this drink pink? Watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Okay. Pineapple and ginger and honey. in Turkey. Yeah. And we asked them like, oh, how much is it for this? It was like a really cute like Elsa dress. And you know how much she loves that? Yeah. And she was like, oh, it's a hundred US dollars. <gasps> and I was like, oh, there's, oh, there was like no way I was going to pay a hundred US dollars there for a little princess dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone go subscribe to Nassim's TikTok. No, because <laughs> she posts baking videos. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Where's your flour? Yeah. Slay. <laughs> Two for me? No, I really can't. I mean, if I, if I eat this much, my body's going to get used to eating a lot. Oh, Do we have that Thousand Island thing? Oh. You want? I just got out of the shower and I feel like I get a lot of questions about hair stuff. I did some hair oiling before I hopped in the shower and I do get some questions about like the products that I use and like the ratio of the oil. So I mainly use, so I use castor oil, I use rosemary oil and then I use peppermint oil and I do equal parts of the peppermint oil and the castor oil. Since I've been doing hair oiling for um, a little bit over a year now. My hair has more tolerance for like more rosemary oil. So definitely start slow if you were just starting out. It just depends on like your hair type and you don't want to like overwhelm your scalp or like clog your hair follicles or anything like that. So definitely like start slow and figure out, you know, if it's working for you. I know my hair and that's just what works for me. I don't really have any like crazy set measurements. I'll probably do like a few syringes of the peppermint oil. Like do the rosemary oil on my head now just because I've been doing it for a long time. But yeah, that's what I do for that. Let me show you the shampoo that I use. Way Detox Shampoo. I've been using this for so long and it's the best after hair oiling because it's designed to remove like product buildup and it's like a deeper wash. So I know some people have shared that like castor oil can be really hard to wash out because it's like on the thicker side. It can definitely become like a lot of buildup on your scalp. So I like to use this. I feel like it gives me a really nice squeaky clean scalp and then I follow up with the way hair mask this is the thick hair one it's my favorite hair mask it is amazing it actually moisturizes your ends and it's just 
unlike any other hair mask I've tried. I feel like some other ones are like nice in the shower and then when you get out of the shower, it doesn't really give you that like moisture, but this one is amazing. So I highly recommend those two products if you're on the hunt for a new shampoo and conditioner. And I'm going to style my hair. I'm gonna do like a fresh blowout for the week since it is Sunday. And I'll show you some of the products that I use for that. I'm actually gonna try out a new product today. It's from Bumble and Bumble. It's the Bond Building Oil Repair Serum. And I got this in PR and I'm really excited to try it. It says to work onto damp hair and air dryer heat style or smooth through dry hair to finish for all hair types. And it's a Bond Building Complex. I think maybe like that much. It smells really good. I love Bumble and Bumble so much. They're one of my favorite hair brands. I'm gonna go in with the Way Leave-In Hair Conditioner. This is the leave-in conditioner I use after every single wash. It's amazing and it helps to detangle your hair and just retain moisture. It also has some heat protectant in it, which is nice. Giving myself a blowout, I'm gonna go in with this JVN Complete Blowout Styling Milk. This stuff is amazing and I definitely like to use some product in my hair before I do blow drying to help it last and just give my hair some more volume. And then I'm gonna go in with the Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Again, just cause I am blow drying it. This just makes your hair shiny <clears throat> oh my gosh it just makes your hair really shiny i'm gonna do a few more spritzes of the heat shield heat protection mist just because i feel like i am kind of over the top with heat protectant i get very scared now that all the products in there I grab my comb i never really brush my hair when it's wet because i feel like it leads to breakage i'm gonna use a wide tube comb this is from the way as well and it's like my favorite comb so i just gently comb through my hair sometimes i'll like start at the ends if i feel like it's really tangly just so i avoid like ripping through my hair and i love it i feel like it's a great way for me to just distribute all the products i applied evenly across my head and yeah it's a lot more gentle than like a regular brush i feel it's time to pray the hood. I need to pray it before Asin comes in. And then we have some work to finish up. I have to film a sponsored video. I want to film some makeup videos and then we'll see on timing, but just some other things. I'm going to pray. This prayer set is from Veiled Collection, by the way. I love it so much. filming and it is 6 26 now so we have like an hour 45 minutes ish till thawed and i am so thirsty today you guys i feel like i've just been talking too much and i called my sister-in-law we looked we're talking for like an hour time we were chatting and i was like walking and talking to my sister and then now filming i just feel like i've talked too much so my mouth is so dry but anyways i'm very excited to eat that looks so good. Mm -hmm. This is meatballs. <laughs> Do you want one? You know, today I was on the phone and I see something moving out of the corner of my eye. And I was like, oh my god, don't do that to me. And it was like a big spider on my floor. Ooh. It's a huge one. Oh, well, that looks so good. I'm 
Oh my god, I was so thirsty today.